Okay, what we're about to do is uh, I'm going to actually pressurize the chamber, but first we're going to remove the top. And of course, this is a swimming pool filter that's been modified slightly. So we're going to take this up. And here is where the uh, the device is going to go, right there. Okay, we're going to put that in there. Okay. Now to pressurize this, start with going to uh, attach a hose fitting. Turn this off. Turn this on. We'll start filling with water. And if you notice down here, once I activate, it fills with water. <laughs> and while that's doing that, I'm just going to plop this in. And I'm going to weight it down, make sure it stays at the bottom. And when it gets up a little bit, I'll put the top back on. It's one atmosphere. You can hear the exhaust. We're starting to get uh, pressure, but we're pressurizing. And you notice this that's air pressure building. And we go through this for a few cycles. I want to bring your attention to the depth equivalency chart. This meter is not reading absolute. It's uh, calibrated as zero, uh, which is standard atmospheric pressure. So these are absolute readings. So one bar on this meter is 33 feet, which would have an absolute pressure at 33 feet of twice the atmospheric pressure. So we're starting to uh, fill the container almost totally filled now. The pressure is rising quickly and shortly we'll see a squirt of water come out of the discharge tube. Watch the wall there. Okay, now we're pressurized. Watch the pressure. Going up to two bars, two and a half bars. We're going to keep it there uh, for about half an hour. And uh, so we'll check back with this in about half an hour and take the uh, container out and see if indeed it uh, didn't leak and that's the whole point of this experiment. So we're into this about uh, 10 minutes now and uh, we'll take this out in half hour. Okay it's time to get the, the uh, device out and I'll show you how I actually go through the uh, depressurization process. Okay, first we check the pressure, make sure the pressure is uh, what it was. If you can you see it's still two and a half bars. You can see there it held pretty well with the initial um, recharge. And now I'm going to go down, check the valves, the input valves for the source. Off. This is off. Now come here, I'll show you how I'm purging the system. Right here I have the main source. Turn that off, and then I purge. Okay, that now has purged the system. Okay. Now we have to drain. I'm going to drain back the system. It goes there, and it's now draining back as soon as I release air pressure. Air pressure is released and the system is draining. The drain down process takes a few minutes and as soon as that's done we'll be able to open the container and take the uh, sample out now time to open the pressure chamber 
I'll disconnect all the hoses. I'll disconnect all the hoses. <laughs> there you go. And uh, now we get to this. in here still down the bottom and uh, it leaked <laughs> look at so we've got to uh, got to determine what happened there so it did leak I have no idea why but we'll figure it out 